we got some um, other not surprising news and really sad news also because I think this might have come about on the day of fucking Virgil Abloh's birthday, which makes this even more heartbreaking, but not surprising. Courage of WWD, it says LBMH sells Off-White to Blue Star Alliance. Um, LBMH has sold Off-White LLC, the company that owns Off-White brand, to the New York-based Blue Star Alliance. Financial details of the of the deal were not disclosed. The late Virgil Abloh founded Off White in of in 2012. Sorry, Virgil was a creative director pioneer who had profound impact on the global fashion industry and creative communities. Acquiring Off White represents a unique opportunity for Blue Star Alliance to honor and build upon the legacy of, of Virgil Abloh, um, said Joey Cab Joey Gabby, chief executive officer of Blue Star Alliance. His visionary approach to fashion resonates deeply with our core. Values values Abloh's ability to fuse street culture with high fashion has laid a powerful foundation that aligns with our vision of fostering innovation while embracing diversity <laughs> okay the acquisition of off-white and the uh, um, opportunity to provide strategic investment and build upon our global network of resources will allow the continuation of the cultural and creative momentum that Virgil ignited one that blue star alliance committed to carry forward um, Blue Star Alliance, founded by Gabby and Ralph Jindy in 2006, owns and manages markets and portfolios of consumer brands ranging from Hurley, um, Scotch and Soda, Bebe, Eli, Eli Tarry, Kensi, Justice, Catherine, Malandinado, um, Nanette, so, who's that? Nanette Lepore, English Laundry, Bookstore, Joe Vass, and Limited 2. God almighty, man, just end it already. Virgil's legacy does not need to be tainted anymore. By having his name associated with these brands scotch and soda hurley kensi ellie tarry justice kathleen malandrino who, who the fuck are these people what are these brands just end it already man fucking hell in a statement issued by lvmh monday evening the group said that it was proud of the legacy that Off-White had built under Virgil Abloh's visionary leadership. Blue Star Alliance is the perfect partner to carry the legacy forward. Blue Star Alliance shares our commitment to respect um, creative integrity and we are confident that under the stewardship, Off-White will continue to innovate while representing the spirit and values of the brand. I'm sure the deal didn't happen on Virgil's... I'm sure they didn't mean to announce the sale of Off-White to Blue Star Alliance on his birthday. But the fact that it was announced on his birthday is so disgusting. It's so tasteless. It's so like, but it's right on brand when it comes to corporations and business and stuff. Right? There, there is no feelings. There is no emotions. There is no care in the world. But I feel like the fact that it was announced on his birthday was kind of tasteless and kind of disgusting. But again, not too surprised. I was surprised that it existed in its current inception under LVMH for this long. I feel like the the appointment of that um what's his name um Ib Kamara although he was a great style although he's a great stylist a great image maker you could say and although he did some great work with Virgil towards the end of his time um you know uh before his passing sorry I didn't feel like as a designer he offered anything great to be fair he didn't really do much for me to make it off white even seemed to be that much appealing to be fair i think it was pretty terrible some of the stuff that he done which is really funny because i feel like as a stylist he's world class i feel like some of the work that he does as a stylist you can really see it kind of striking um it's it kind of communicates a lot whatever else it may be but i feel like as a designer he kind of felt quite short and i was quite surprised at his appointment in the first place maybe because he worked closely with virgil towards the end of his time to, before his passing maybe lvmh kind of felt like getting him involved might have been a good way to kind of continue on his legacy because maybe he had some you know some of the last conversations with a guy design wise that might help it go forward but i felt like if anything if they did want to give lvmh a chance of surviving under L no if they wouldn't it did if they was a chance of L of off-white surviving under lvmh the best way would have been to kind of just go out and hire a creative director externally and kind of hope that they could kind of come in and maybe give the brand a bit of an uplift and kind of restart and kind of push a new direction and not try and do their own version of what Virgil did. I feel like just trying to take the off-white name and just go in a different direction underneath it and just try and do your own thing. That probably would have been the best way to kind of do what they did there. Kind of like what, what Glenn Martin's did with kind of Y Project. Just kind of come in and kind of treat it like your own brand and do your own thing. But that didn't happen. Um, so not surprised to see it kind of go the way it kind of went. But I think much like I am with, um, how do you pronounce that word? I think it's post hominis, right? Or post hominis, post hominis. My same thought when it comes to like musicians who pass away and they release music after their passing. I feel like once a designer has passed, 
I feel like when it comes to their namesake brand, it should just, it should just shut down. I don't think there should be a reason to continue somebody's namesake brand, um, especially a brand like Off White, without the Virgil being around. The main reason why Off White existed, the main reason why people cared about Off White, the main reason why Off White um, was what it was to the culture, the reason why it mattered, the reason why this it, it was all because of Virgil. That story of him kind of founding off white and it and it kind of leading to him eventually getting the job with Louis Vuitton was essentially, you know, everybody's sort of like motivation for maybe even getting into fashion or to kind of maybe continue what they were doing. It kind of gave many people a lot of people motivation, inspiration, but a lot of a lot of the energy, a lot of the fucking power, a lot of the fucking great work was mostly because of Virgil. And without the guy being around, it's kind of unnecessary to have the brand still exist and to have kind of be watered down and turned into crap that it is now at the moment. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, it doesn't really occupy the cultural zeitgeist anymore as it once did. Um, it doesn't really resonate online as it once did. Um, I feel like even Virgil, the way he used to share the, the kind of, you know, inner workings of how he was working on his brand and the behind the scenes things, all of that kind of added to the allure of the brand. And without him, it's just, there's no need for it to exist. So, you know, it's probably not likely because a lot of these brands generate a lot of money. They hire a lot of people. But I would think it would probably be a far better way to kind of honor the legacy of Virgil to just shut the brand after a while. Maybe after two years or so, have kind of a grace period. But to continue keep, you know, kind of putting this brand around and hiring different creative directors to try and give it a little new lease of life, it just seems to be doing more of a disservice to the guy's legacy than anything else going forward, personally. Um, so, again, not surprising to see the LBMH has sold it on. Most likely the sales have dipped. Most likely a lot of retailers have probably decided not to buy the seasons um, you know, that we've kind of seen under Ib Kamara that have been very, very, very underwhelming. And um, yeah, most likely it's just not occupying the, you know, the, the mind as much as it was when Virgil was around. So what's the point of it really existing? Really? It doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. But RIP to Virgil, same way. Um, it would have been his birthday, I think, last year. I think, you know, I think yesterday actually, or maybe the day before that. So, R.I. Peter Virgil, long live him, and thoughts and feelings out to his family and shit. But I'm not surprised to see that they have decided to pull the plug on this particular um, brand and sell it to someone else. And you know, it's just going to be lost in this kind of like sea of absolute horrendous, mediocre, run of the mill shit like Scotch and soda. You know, like Off White deserves way more than that to be placed alongside Scotch and soda. But hey, it kind of is what it is. It kind of is what it is. So R.I.P. Off White sold to Blue Star Alliance. LVMH has washed their hands of Off White. LVMH has washed their hands of Off White. Continuing on.